light. Hate that. Turn on all the lamps first. <laughs> I hate it. Okay. Right, May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were... What if the brute were harnessed thus? Please. Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I've seen these things and I will tell you now. No. No, they will not. <laughs> but they will happily accept... Fealty? Fealty to a god thrust upon them and worship it thus given. In this, I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. What? In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Guilty utter devotion. Okay, nice. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> I should just get like a um, a bot that like is a ca or a, a dictionary, and you can just type like exclamation point. Uh, I don't like that music one bit. I'll be real serious. Also, is this like the whole contraption? I mean, if that is, that's pretty insane. <laughs> you shuddered at Growler. That's funny. Sworn Allegiance. Took one out of an Onion personal ad when I first moved. Oh, took out an Onion personal ad when I first moved to a new city. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I and also I prefer to meet people in real life, and it's difficult to do when you're like the most secluded recluse on earth, but yeah. Uh why are there teeth in this and glasses? They have a dictionary API for chat? That's sick! That'd be awesome! I was gonna say, I wonder if there is like some sort of database that you could use. Like a dictionary, right? August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. But per perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. God. It had a history. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels, uh, crisscrossing the capital. That's crazy. Uh, what places lie bur buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. Um, is, that a, is that an F? Fit the center of the planet, my architect tells me. Oh, in? I don't know. There is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Oh, is that what our little key it's found? Yeah, I've definitely, like, I've met people from, like, apps and just been friends, like, and I, you know, that's like, a, when I lived in Atlanta, that's how, like, I knew a lot of people, actually, was I would just, like, talk to them, like, you know, online on social media, on the phone apps, and made a lot of friends. It was actually pretty cool. And then when, when I would go out, I would know a lot of people. It was the dream. All right. So yeah, no boxes. I'm... I am sad about the loot. I'm like always looking for loot. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. I hate this. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. And we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones, oh nice, and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. I really don't like that. Warning fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive wear protection. Righty can do. Yeah, it was definitely a breath of fresh air. Oh, 
Oh, good. There's pigs. Pigs everywhere. A door. Can't open the door. A door. Can't open that one. Okay, let's go check out the pigs first. Uh, this is the same highly corrosive wear protection. Oh, good. I hate the pigs so much. Hammer. What's this? Truck fueling station. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to use something. Uh, we don't have tab. Oh, wait. I wanted this. My journal. Oh, we haven't read it. Man, I, I don't notice the notes. Saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the mortar cannot be spun and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. More electrical sabotage. Another uh, confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage. If someone... This guy's like... Like, turbo writing. If somewhat repetitive, the stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. It would certainly hope, or I would certainly hope, that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. The path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my fever, the calls of my children, wherever they may lead me, as I move further into this strange empire. Also, if your kids are just, like, ghoulishly calling your name and then just disappearing, wouldn't you just assume that they're, you know, maybe dead or you're dead or... Alright, the factory offices. All the suggestions of large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit uh, as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. complex. Uh, yet this facade... Facade? Facade. When examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. And then finally, pumping station where we are now. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this uh, machine must be significant in some way. I guess we, yeah, I'm assuming we're going to get like a barrel or not a barrel, a bucket to fill there. That's a bucket. Seriously, the lantern permanent is so good. What's this pig all about? Oh. Ew. Can't grab anything there. Right, so I'm assuming the bucket's going to be in this area. More pigs. God, I hate, oh, it moved. I hate it. Open this. At some point, we're gonna have to have a baddie. Let's see. Note. September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man. As if the, uh, this is to be desired, one, one might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. What? Men and women upon all fours, uh, rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. Great. Alleys and gutters, running freely uh, freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. God, the air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. I can't. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by, and yet this is the condition Babbage aspired to. What a pleasant, pleasant thing. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity. And we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to uh, yeah, carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. Yeah, this note is, is a little insane. <laughs> Getting you bothered, yeah. Hate it. So this is definitely the same creator as the first one, right? Alright, we're outside. Oh, we're like just legit outside. Like for real this time. Right? Can I get up here? Can I get up there? No. Be right back in a bit, gotta take care of the animals. Alright, some development team overall, or same development team overall, yeah, okay. Yeah, they definitely took away the, like, importance of collecting items and managing light and stuff. Boycott. Ban swine stench from our streets. Manda's factory must close. 
Okay. Big door there. Little door? Doesn't open. This is another one of these mandis. Yeah, band swine stench, okay. Some more of these barrels in this truck. A note. There's a lot of notes in this game. A lot more than the first one, I'll tell you. How in blazes and they and I have to read them all. <laughs> Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new uh, fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed to be for running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. Can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it says I. Well, sod it says I. There we go. Enough for a night and uh, to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Dampson Templar for a jar. Okay. Dunstan's church, and I hear child laughter. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. What are you talking about? Okay, so this is Mundus Co. Meat Processing Factory, 1828. Okay, so I guess this is just... This is it. There's no other exit. Where do the trucks go? There's that. There's the truck. I didn't see a way out. Alright, let's go in here. Two red lights, I don't like it. Chemical, danger, highly corrosive. Uh... You can't go in there. Oh look, it's like a... Yeah, there's like stuff moving in there. I don't know what this box is. Let's see. Flood breach emergency shutdown in place. This is a little, I'm assuming, map. I can't open the door. push the button. Maybe go back outside. So like a box or something that I need to put that big box in to fix the electricidad. Nope. What the hell? The box is in the way. Oh nice. Oh, so now we can open that door. Nice! Okay. Now we're back to the gas pump zone. Haven't found a box. Oh, you know what? Is that a tank? That might be a tank. Like a gas tank. And they just look funny. Let's get the gas tank. Yeah, because it looks like it has a little bulby thing on the top, so maybe this is like the, the shape of the weird... Oh yeah, look it. Yep, yeah, it definitely is. Can I put it in there? It almost fits in there, but I think we have to fill it. Ooh, I don't like it. Bonk. So this, he said this isn't gasoline apparently, it's some other sort of scary- Oh what the hell? Oh god there's a thing up there! Oh god! Okay. We're fine. No 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 no. Not gonna look. What the hell? 
What's beating on that door over there? Run! I don't know what I need this for. For the truck, maybe. Well, let's read the notes. Let's read the notes as we go every time I see it. See, already we're missing them. Uh, Holly orders, this church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does not suggest another route into the main part of the facility. Given the locked doors around the fueling station, the truck blocks my way. However, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider an alternative entrance. Strange container. This canister looks as if it may fit in the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze upon that or into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. When I have AFK to do something, lay down on the bed. Oops! <laughs> if you fall asleep. Fast getaway. Fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto the hollow hallowed ground. Oh, I knew I was going to drop it. Pick it up. Okay. Run! We get to drive a truck! How exciting is this? Mom. Let me in. I'm actually supposed to be able to get up because I can't. Oh, we can. Okay. Alright, maybe not. What the hell? Truck is in the way, so we're supposed to be able to get up in into here. Stupid pig is in the way, though. Step. Yeah, see, I think I got up there on accident last time. So it's not letting me. Maybe on this side again? Stupid truck. I did it. Oh. I have to turn the engine on. Oh, God. That's all it did with all of that gas. Oh, nice. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Hey, interesting. Always exploring. There's some little shutters with some light inside. Okay, so there's a little uh, entrance to a thing there. That might be where we're supposed to go. But I'm going to explore a little bit more. God, I hate it. Alright, yep, so that's the way. Turns out I don't like graveyards. Who to thunk? Yay! Livestock and Bibles. Higgledy, Piggledy, oh, Higgledy, Piggledy, blue china eyes. My love comes to me in the fairest disguise. We skips and we totters. I sees her hind trotters. Uh, and enter her porcelain thighs? Jesus Christ, that was a nice thing for a second, and now it's not nice. 